All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. Horse set 2021 is almost upon us, and big thanks to Wizards of the Coast. I am here with the early access streamer event, and uh, doing things a little bit differently this time. Um, usually, of course, we do our 10 new brews on stream. Those make their way to YouTube, do my uh, my cool stuff, ink video, but there's a, a Twitch blackout happening today, uh, and I wanted to be in solidarity with that, so I'm going to be on at 12.01. That's right. So just just after midnight tonight, I'll be on doing my 10 new brews. But I don't want to leave you YouTube folks hanging. All right. So 10 new brews still happening. Those will also go up on YouTube. Sold my article on CoolStuffInc.com this uh, Friday with all my brews and thoughts. But a little bonus for you YouTube folks because I love you all. Duncan Dinos Remix. That's right. Of course, Duncan Dinos was a deck I built uh, a few years ago now with Experimental Frenzy and Wayward Swordtooth. Super fun deck. Of course, Frenzy usually played in decks, you know, Mono Red, like a top end kind of curve card, you know, where you top out on it and you play Steam Cannon, blah, 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 blah. But that's not as fun as just playing extra lands, right? So Swordtooth played extra lands. And now we have, thanks to Corset 2021, Azusa Lost But Seeking to play two extra lands. And of course, we already have Dry to the Elysian Grove to play one extra land. And we have a little, a little redundancy here in Rada Heart of Kale which will allow us to play lands off the top of our deck. So this forms a nice little engine. And of course, uh, the original Duncan Dinos deck had Banefire, which is like the ultimate end game. You just keep playing lands, keep playing lands, Banefire you for 15 or whatever. Uh, don't have that one anymore, but we do have some pretty good top end wing additions here. The best, of course, being Ugin the Spirit Dragon, returning to standard once again. Good idea, bad idea, not really sure. But uh, Ugin's here, and uh, we also have Ugin the Ineffable, another solid card to ramp into. Chandra. Awakened Inferno. I got more of these on the sideboard. Can't be countered against counter spells. And the other new card here in Chandra Heart of Fire. Um, my pick for the best red card in the set. And this has been plus to draw cards. Our hand is basically worthless anyway because we're ramping and we have Frenzy in play. So we have to exit out the top three, play a bunch of cards, play a bunch of extra lands, uh, deal two to things. Pretty awesome. And um, that's our end game that we're building towards with our Duncan Dinos engine. To get there, we've got Solemn Simulacrum, another interesting re reprint, uh, a Boreal Razor, more ramp, a little bit of removal here in Bunk Rush Giant and Soul Seer, the new uh, new Heroes Downfall in Red, which is pretty cool. And that's a deck, just playing tons of lands. We got, of course, Red and Green lands. We got some cool lands here in Blast Zone and Cryptic Caves and the new Radiant Fountain. I love me some Radiant Fountain, let me tell you. Uh, it comes into play, it gains you life. Simple, easy, effective, and... Just a nice little buffer against aggro deck. So build a sideboard. Not going to be using it because there are is best of one in the early access event. But I figured I'd build it for you all if you want to play this deck yourself. But our uh, deck seems super fun. Again, big thanks Wizards of the Coast hashtag sponsored for um, letting me use this early access event. Let's go, Duncan Dinos. And remember, like I said, tonight is the early access streamer event. You can see actually right here. I've already started building decks. So we've got uh, Underworld Dreams combo, Proliferate, Snoop, Conspicuous Snoop. Look for all those shrines. Again, on my future YouTube videos and on my stream tonight. So let's go. Duncan Dinos Remix here on uh, the Core Set 2020 Early Access event. Again, all my all my YouTube folks, please like, comment, subscribe if you can. Check out the other videos. I'm pumped. And also, let me know. This is some, some YouTube-specific content we're doing here that I um, haven't, really, really, haven't really done before. So let me know if you like it. Let me know what you think. Hand looks great. Let's go. A little awkward here. Can't Grazer on one, but that's fine. Ugin the Ineffable. So right now we have Grazer, Rada, Bone Crusher, and four lands. Are we happy topping out on this card? I think we are. I think I'm cool with this. We get to go Grazer, Temple next turn. Try to make some land drops. We like that. We like that. Venerable Knight. So... I think we're still going to Grazer here. We could Bone Crusher this, but I think it's going Grazer Temple. I guess we could actually go... No, yeah, we'll just go Grazer here. Let's Temple first, I guess. Sure. A Frenzy. Uh, perfect, I think. So let's play a Boreal Grazer. Put in a Mountain Tap. So there you go. Uh, we're not going to Frenzy yet, but... We'll either Bone Crusher or Rata. Interesting because we could try to go Rada and make a land drop off the top and then stomp, which would be the best use of our mana for sure. But um, we'll see. 
we'll see what we do here. Little white weenie from our opponent. Turn two in the tank. So yeah, Rod is pretty cool in that sh uh, she is a um, little extra oomph for the game so you don't draw Frenzy. But all right, so they're going to play Venerable Knight and then play Seasoned Hollow Blade. Three and Warrior discard cards to give it destructible. Sure. All right, so I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to play Rada and see if we can spike the land off the top. Um, come on, Rada, help me out. I played the older version of Rada. Didn't do it. Older version of Rada, uh, Pro Tour, I think it was Yokohama, Time Spiral Block Constructed. Uh, it was a two drop Rada, when it, when it attacked, it made mana, tap for, a, tap for a mana, attacked, it made a red and green, it's a cool card. That and Stonewind Invocation. I am dating myself. God, that Pro Tour was like, what, 10 years ago? All right, another Venerable Knight. Of course, Rada only has first strike on my turn. Still a decent sized body. Also a good mana sink too, honestly. Um, you know, if you're flooded in the late game, she can become really, really big. And they're not going to attack with the Hollow Blade. Interesting. All right, we do have a land on top. That's pretty awesome. So let's play the land off the top. We have a Frenzy on top. So I think I'm pretty happy just playing Dryad and then stomping something. <clears throat> and then we can go Frenzy next turn and start trying to go nuts. Because so we'll have the extra land effect in play as well as the way... Way to play extra stuff, so let's just play Dryad. If we wanted to get Frisky, you'd probably just attack with the Rada, honestly. Like, it is first strike on attack. I guess they can make this an indestructible. I mean, you could shoot it, they make it indestructible again. Yeah, we're just going to go here. We're definitely the, the control deck here, the, like, the late game deck, because no reason to be Frisky. And once you get Frenzy in play, our engine should be able to overwhelm their smaller creatures. Um, Raise the alarm. So, I suppose Venerated locks down to be a little annoying, but. Uh, so would a uh, unbreakable formation. Tithe taker. All right. So now we got to cast spell in response because they we can no, we'll no longer be able to. Uh, I guess we're killing venerable knight. We we'll just put a counter on the other venerable knight, but if I can't. If I target this, it just discards a card. We kill, it's kill a wall one. It's probably worse. Yeah, just stop this. So, not too bad. I mean, we've obviously built up a board here that's pretty uh, pretty reasonable. Um, we got some decent blockers. I guess they have a 3-2 attacker now, but it's a block it with this. We'll see what's happening. They got some stuff. They got some stuff. We also have Ugin the Spirit Dragon just looming in our deck, so that's a pretty, uh, pretty powerful one. So top card is Stomping Ground. Um... I guess you might as well just play it. Do we shock? Probably not. I said we get two lands in a row. Hmm. Uh, I think we're I think we're gonna shock. If we hit two lands in a row, we can cast Bone Grocer Giant. Top card is Azusa the Lost but Seeking. Uh, that's super awkward because we uh we want that with Frenzy, but we could actually just play Ugin instead, I guess. And everything they have is on the ground, which is pretty great. I just play Ugin. The next turn we can play Azusa. Hopefully, hopefully we'll land on top and play Frenzy also and start going bananas. Oh wait, uh, <laughs> kind of forgot what uh what Ugin did. So yeah, I, I, I actually could play that land too. All right, that's fine. I'll play with new cards here. I'm I mean, I guess this isn't a new card, but I haven't played with it in a while. Um, so yeah, that that was a that was a huge error, obviously. And then I compounded it by hitting the, uh, you know, the just pass the turn button and not playing the, uh, the forest off the top. But that's all right. I think we're still in pretty good shape here. So radiant fountain off the top, and now there's another one who's on top. That's great though. So now you can play frenzy. Play Azusa, and now we're going off. Top card Chandra. I can't play that one, so let's put that into a a thingy. Top card's Bone Crusher. We can put that in our upkeep, and then uh, any attacks here. Uh, 
I guess not. I don't know. I guess not. I guess maybe send that. Probably won't, won't block it, so. Alright, so we can upkeep stomp. Yeah, card like unbreakable formation is pretty scary here, but. Stone Coil Serpent as a 5 5. Right, sure, it's a card. So, upkeep, we're going to Bone Crusher, so we can. Uh, we can do that. They have any, any knights in play? I don't think they do, actually. So, let's stomp out the Venerable Knight. Now, our top card is Soul Seer, um, which can actually kill the Seasoned Hollow Blade. It kills Stone Coil Serpent, too. It's just, all right, so let's uh, play that one, too. And the top, top card's a land, so. A little cute frenzying here. What's with the. Uh, the weirdness here in this, the art box of Chandra. Alright, to so kill those, we draw a land. Top card, a Boreal Razor, which is kind of cute. So just play your Razor. Put in a land. Play a land up the top. Play a land up the top. Scry to the bottom. Blast Zone. Sweet. Play it up the top. Uh, now we're doing it. So playing a second Azusa is kind of worthless. Let's plus the uh, the Ugin. Another land on top. Because um, we play that tapped. All right, and. Send in some of the clowns, not all the clowns, just some of the clowns. Play Bone Crusher and say go. So we don't really have, you know, we're we're not necessarily building for a card like Banefire or something like that. We're still going off. Which is pretty awesome. We 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 move through like what five, six cards that turn? Seven cards. Twenty two life, feeling pretty good. Old Ugin here is ready to rock and roll. If we need to kill anything, just making a two twos. Obviously, a little weird because like the if the two twos die, the card goes to our hand with frenzy in play. But I think that you know just it's still fine. You can always blow up your frenzy later on too. So that was a pretty cool first game here. The old Duncan Dinos remix. Oil blocks from your death. Sure, sure, sure. Right, let's go again. Duncan Dino's remix. I like it. I like it. I just love playing extra lands, personally. I just kind of... I don't know who I am. I don't know. I just really like drawing cards and playing lands. Hence why Tao Shocker is the best card ever printed. Ever printed. All right. Uh, that's some hand. That is some hand. I have to get the old hand of the week going here. Can I get my new office set up? I can have all this stuff set up properly. We're, we're gonna mulligan this hand. This hand's pretty, uh, pretty sketch. Double oog skis. Um, this is definitely better. It's not great, though. There's no real engine. Um,. We're on the play, so we have like the grazer to put the, put the land into play, and then we have a turn two dryad, but no extra lands to play and no engine. Um, it's probably better than going to five, I guess. But I'm gonna ship the Ugin. I don't love it. I definitely don't love it. We were pretty desperate for an engine card. That is not an engine card. It's also not an engine card. <laughs> Get him a Royal Razor. Show him his boss. So 
So Jun something. Mayhem Devil. That's kind of lame. Alright, um... A smash. See if they block. Cool. We'll take it. Save Soul Seer for something bigger. So we're pretty all in here, given that we've drawn, you know, we've mulliganed and kind of really haven't drawn an engine or anything, but. Right. Most Riders are a little annoying, but. They're going to claim the Firstborn, because that's also really annoying. Alright, I mean, yeah, that stinks. I think the Firstborn's real good. Yeah, that makes sense. Good play. Good play. Good play. Looks just like a basic Jun Sacrifice deck, honestly. There's not really uh, there's anything crazy going on here. Well, that is not an Experimental Frenzy. Um, we could leave up Souls here for the Strider, in case they have another claim the first form. If they had, they had that, they probably would have cast it, though. I wish I cast Bone Crusher here. Also pretty scared of a uh, of the big dragon because I can get above a five get above, above a five five pretty fast. Let's see what they do here. Definitely need to draw an engine, you know, frenzy, uh, Chandra, you know, some sort of thing that like pushes forward progress pretty hard. So they play the dragon. They topped too. Let's say go. They play the dragon. We've got to kill it or lose the game instantly. The devil's pretty good too. Sure. Sure. Here they have the dragon, they're just being smart about it. I should tap the uh, passage probably, but whatever. Alright, I mean... We're patiently waiting with the Soul Seer, hoping to kill this dragon, if they have it. They do have a lot of cards in their hand. Brash Taunter. So, new card here. Instructable, whenever it's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent, and it can fight other creatures. It's pretty funny that this can kill it, but it will also deal us five. Alright, so things just got weird. Uh huh. Pretty hard to attack and do, honestly, but it's just a 1-1, one, one, so... Okay, well, we, uh... Definitely need some, uh, something here. That's pretty much that Soul Seer can kill this. At a cost, at a cost, but... Whoa, Strider again, woo! Sure. One experimental frenzy, please. Want to buy. Nope. Nope. Jeez. Kill me, Smalls. Alright, so they're going to sack and do some stuff. Which is fine. Um, 
this thing costs three to fight something. So eventually they're going to start fighting our Bone Crusher and taking four, we'll take four turn. Oh my god. Very silly that I have five mana more when it's playable, you know? This makes no sense. Ha! A Boro Razor, zero power. Take that. Frenzy up top. Not quite. Unfortunately, this just, like, dies pretty easily. But... Mayhem Devil in play, but... Definitely a weird game. We mulliganed and flooded pretty bad, but our opponent's playing just a million Woe Striders and Brash Taunters. And Priest of the Forgotten Gods, that is also pretty good. Yeah, so they've drawn five lands, all spells. We have drawn many, many lands. Speaking of many, many lands. We could kill the priest, but I don't think that's worth it. Um, I guess they get, they get sacrifice, what, a goat and a woe strider and make us sacrifice a boreal razor and lose two? It's not too bad. Let me just say go. I suppose we could crank. The problem is we can't Blast it on three. Cultivate? I don't understand it. This is like a, a sacrifice deck, but then just, just like playing Cultivate and Brash Taunter. It's weird, you know? Cultivate another cool new one. Reprint. And Blast Zone for two, I guess, is on the table. Three is just too bad. That's because all of our stuff. Alright, so sacrifice some things. Game's not going too well for us, unfortunately. We're gonna fight and we'll just, we'll kill it. Response. We'll take five, but uh, you know it's better than uh, our bone rusher dying and stuff. Guess they could sack it and like sack something else, and ah, uh, we're probably just super dead here. I don't know. Maybe we draw frenzy. Even then, brash taunter. Does seem pretty good against a red green deck, you know? Obviously, uh, other colors can like exile it or bounce it or whatever. Alright, take one. Makes a goblin indestructible. Hey, we did it! I didn't pump the thing up to two. That's okay. Frenzy. Top card. Another. This game isn't like us. All right. All right, we're just dead. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> we we found the frenzy. Probably too late anyway, and then another one right after. So, a pretty tough game there. We just kind of mulligan to six. Our hand was pretty bad, but that's okay. That's okay. Duncan Dino's remix. And the old black screen of death. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Get things going here.
Got a little beta test of the green screen here. It's just a green wall. We're still not in my office yet. For those of you who are unaware, we just bought a house. And um, we're doing a lot of the work ourselves. A lot of painting, a lot, a lot of works in general. So hope to get to the office next week and uh, get things all set up there. Pretty excited about that. Uh, again, do have our big payoffs here. No ramp. We do have a frenzy, but I think we're going to log in this end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep, honestly. And it's funny, because shipping a frenzy is risky because if they have a... I mean, we can ship the, ship the grazer, I guess. I guess if we draw a green source in our first like draw or two. All right, I'll ship a frenzy. I don't know if it's... I can ship a land. Let me ship a land. Ship land four, though. I'll ship a frenzy. I have to have, like, exactly discard... Like a thought erasure or something like that. Like really punish us. Oh god. Oh, they're gonna do it. Why did I say anything? We're getting agonizing or worse on turn two here. Please don't. Please, 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 please don't. Oh, thank god. Chandra. Okay. Chandra is pretty sweet. But it's not worth waiting and just play Frenzy on turn three here. Our hand's pretty empty, so... Hold me. Alright, some sort of, like, green-black rock deck here or something? Straight green-black, alright. Top card, Dry to the Elysian Grove. Love it. Temple of Abandon. Love it. Um, I think I'd leave the forest on top. Uh, because we're, we know we can play it. We can't play most other things. Should I leave it? That's, yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, it's fun. We're rolled up. We got the old, the old engine online. Um, they have, like, casualties of war here. That would feel pretty awful. We'd have Chandra to back it up, though, so. Yeah, we do, obviously. I don't know why I talk. All right. Um, I mean, getting Chandra in play is pretty good. We can like land Grazer Chandra, keep Azusa in our hand. Yeah, I like that. Not the best Grazer of all time, but it ain't too much else. So. So deal two here. Ooh, fiery. Yeah, sure. Get him. Get him, a Boreal Grazer. And then next turn we can play Azusa and then activate the plus and re reload, assuming that Chandra doesn't die here. They have another Catches of War. Come on. Ugh. Oh, it's Underworld Dreams. Okay. I have an Underworld Dreams deck in my 10 Brews. There's a two-card combo kill. So they're probably playing, honestly. It's the new 7 mana Sorcery. Sure. So much good ramp in this format, you know? Alright. Draw a card, sure. So, plus. Discard my hand and draw three new cards. Solemn Simulacrum, Bone Crusher Giant. Um. Hmm. Play Solemn. Get a, a Lando. I guess we'll just cast the Bone Rusher Giant. Right. They have the uh, the seven mana spell, so the seven mana sorcery. Target player loses half their life and draws half their library. And uh, obviously, with Underworld Dreams, it's just a straight kill. Extinction event. Interesting. We got Chandra going though. So this is pretty good. And Grim Tutor. Yeah, so we're dead. So that we can't stop the combo. We have no way to remove the uh, the Underworld Dreams either, so it's pretty sad. Tilt. Yeah, I mean, we're dead, so I don't think it matters. Pretty obnoxious little two-card combo. Grim Tutor. 
Yep, that's the one. So we draw a bajillion cards, take ten, and then take a bajillion damage. So we're I'm playing this deck in my uh, my early access ten brews. Um, my version looks different, but playing greens is good too, honestly. So that's two card combo, you know. Requires you know to resolve a seven mana sorcery, but our deck with no counter spells or discard can't do anything about it. So pretty obnoxious, pretty obnoxious. Obviously, it's also a deck where like if we get to sideboard, we can bring in like you know naturalize effects or whatever. Um, but so kind of lame, kind of lame. Obviously, best of one has its has its downsides, of course. For sure. Yeah, my version of a deck is a mono black version. Little little devotion sub theme. Um I think with Temple we're gonna keep. Swamp. Temple's all day. Alright, we'll ship that. Just looking for a three drop here, which temple number two will help with, so. Remorse. No remorse. Gonna take our uh, our frenzy probably. Double solemn simulacrum. I like the old art of solemn. I don't like I don't like that they changed the uh, the art of the invitational cards, you know? <laughs> Thoughts he's bugged. Uh I'm still gonna ship it, honestly. I think I just want one of my multi land three drops. Not quite. Um, I mean, we could leave up Soul Seer. I think I'm going to. They have to play something, and if they don't, it's fine. And if they do, I want them to answer it, untap into something, so. We're going to bump Blast Zone 2. Play Maze Mind Tomb. Pretty cool card draw engine. I like this card. Now we draw the Dryad, obviously. Obviously. All right, so we're going to sell him. And they're going to sell him. This is old school. Old school magic here. Wonder if they are also playing the combo. Um, yes, smash. Didn't draw land. We drew an Azusa Lost, but seeking. Uh, it's a really awkward hand, right? We should have a bunch of threes, and we're kind of stuck on lands. So Chandra and Frenzy are pretty awkward. Uh, I think we're just playing Solemn again. Just guarantee the land drop for next turn. They're going to pay one Scry, sure. Cool card. Cool card. All right, so we drew a land. Cool. I don't ever want to play the Frenzy, though. Like, we could just go Azusa Frenzy. It's a thing. Locks out a lot of our hand, though. We could also go, like, Azusa Dryad. And they also have this Blast Zone, which is pretty annoying. This Blast Zone on three will kill multiple drops. And they can pump it twice to kill Frenzy. I think it's fine, actually. They kill Frenzy, we just unlocks our hand. So, yeah, let's just go Azusa Frenzy. Could kill Azusa in response here, obviously, but that's, you know, fine.
Auto stack. So they're gonna grasp of darkness my Azusa. Sure. And pump blast into three. Top card bone crusher anyway. Um they have Ugin and the Spirit Dragon. Interesting. And they're gonna leave the frenzy in play. Uh, there's nine top cards Azusa but we can't actually deal damage to this Ugin unless we do some stuff Ugin's pretty annoying Ugin's like this like the ultimate top end card and the thing is like there's so much good ramp in the format right now another Azusa awesome alright and a soul seer okay So much ramp in the format that Ugin feels like a perplexing choice to to preprint. Take Chandra? Interesting. I will destroy sure. So upkeep, we get the Soul Seer. Draw top cards another frenzy. You're killing me. And our own Ugin. Alright. Oh boy, man, we are running uh running soft here, let me tell you. Played a land, so you can't play another land. What's this on? Eight. And we're one short of pumping it? Ugh. And not a bad strategy, honestly. Just uh just literally kill spells and, and Ugans. Castle's really good too. Yeah, um... It's minus 10 to ultimate. I, I mean, like, blowing up both frenzies just seems crazy. God, we're short again. Ugh. Alright, well, they're just gonna ultimate Ugin. I guess I'll let him do it. It's fun, whatever. It's good TV, I suppose, but... I mean, maybe we could've blown up both... I don't think we're beating the castles either, though. Ugin the Ineffable. Sure. Not defy the of an so they're choosing to plus the Ugin and not ultimate it? Interesting. Um, I'm going to blow up one of my frenzies. So we have the option to blow up the other one if you want to. I probably should have done that like a turn ago. Forest and a land. Ugh. We just like can't actually beat the Ugin. It's just so big. Unfortunately, we're just kind of like hitting things that red and green just like doesn't deal with very well. Uh, very large toughness planeswalkers, indestructible creatures, uh, enchantment and sorcery based combos. Kind of, kind of rough, honestly. It's been a rough couple of games here. We can like delay the inevitable on the we can't we can't we can't beat it though. Alright. Tough. Tough for the Duncan Dinos remix. We're trying. We're trying, but uh things are not coming up our way. Not coming up our way at all. One more, one more game though. One more game. I'm not I'm ready to give up yet.
Arena's ready to give up. Totally. It's black screen of death. Lagging. Sparky's here. One more shot. I want another shot. I'm like uh, President Whitmore, Independence Day. Anyone? <laughs> Come on! Alright, we're gonna mulligan. That's better. Gonna keep this. Um, we definitely want. We have a. I think we definitely want the Chandra, especially the Rada, I think. Um, you can't actually cast it yet. And I think that we're gonna go dry it into Solomon into Chandra, so. Rod doesn't really fit into that curve. Land. Cool. Alright. See what they're up to over here. Ah yes, Euro. How I missed the some sort of Bant Euro deck, huh? Soul Seer. I mean, it's really not ideal, but What a jerk. Alright. Solomon up. Get a mountain. So, definitely have some things to play. Very time, Raveler. Bounce my Solomon, please. I, mean, I really don't really want a Soul Seer to ferry. Let's try bottom, sure. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Definitely can fire an attack at Teferi. It's pretty reasonable. We can go, like, just Bone Crusher of it to the thingy and play Azusa and set up for Chandra next turn. Which is pretty good. Elspeth conquers death. Could be worse. I said she could just bounce it. That's pretty gross. Well, so I guess the core set twenty twenty one cards can't stack up against Euro conquers death and Teferi. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, that's pretty awful. So now we just can't even play Shadow because they have a Congress Death in their hand. Uh, okay. I Dark Races for four. I see. I mean, we can't play Chandra. I guess we could just play it and just hope to hit. I don't even know what we're hoping to hit, honestly. They just conquer death it, which feels awful. We can still get, like, probably a, maybe a land and a spell off of it. If we had, like, land frenzy, that'd be pretty insane. Maybe we just have to, right? We're, we're just playing Euro next turn. We just have Congress death anyway. Like, we're just have a million cards in their hand. we we'll just do it. For a plus and hit land frenzy. Did it. Did it. 
Let's go. Hey. So let's grazer off the top or grazer out of my eggs. We're playing this grazer because it's already there. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Now it's one or the other. Either way, we're attacking and drawing a lot of cards next turn. Okay. I mean, that kind of sucks. But... They have Aether Gust, too. Like, if that's all they have, it isn't that... They have Euro, duh. Okay. I mean, not ideal, but let's see what turns up here. Pretty good start. <laughs> okay, uh... So, we've got five mana left. I guess we're just going to plus discard our hand and just look for some more cards here. Well, the passage is kind of irrelevant, but... Yeah, sure. Two more Frenzies and a passage. So, I mean, second Frenzy is actually fine here because it means they can't just Congress Death it or whatever. Obviously, Euro's pretty annoying. Um, they attack Shonda, though. We just, like, let it hit, I think, and go to one, which is fine. And they can't... Uh, that's annoying. Chose the Rada, not the Azusa? It's weird. With Frenzy in play, Azusa seems much, much better. Yeah, all these cards are good. Definitely Corset 2021 is a little bit of a lower power level than uh, what's currently available in Standard, which is probably a good thing overall, but um, it does feel like we are bringing a knife to a gunfight because they're just playing all the good cards already legal and we're trying to play cool new cards. Which kind of sucks, I guess, but... Top card is Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, well, let's start there, I guess. Just deal two to the fairy. That's not bad. Ugin the Ineffable. I wish, I wish it was the other Ugin, honestly, but... Uh, I mean, I would like to... I would like to plus this to have another shot at a card at the top, but I'm pretty sure we just have to kill Euro. We just can't leave it in play. So... And then we'll just draw this stomping ground next turn and just play this Bone Crusher Giant, so that's fine. We're definitely, you know, in this game, which is cool. Alright, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. We are missing Banefire a lot. Banefire is definitely one of the key, uh, the key cards in the old Duncan Dinos deck. All right, it's the Fairy Conqueror's death. Uh, we've seen this dance before. Probably kill my Ugin here. It's all four to fairies. Yeah, it's all four to fairies. Yeah. All right. Another Frenzy. Alright. And a land. And a Boreal Razor. It's kind of cool, actually. Put a land, a land in play. So this will Temple and we'll Bottom is Forest. Top card's also a Forest. Awkward. Um. We will meet again. Alright. Alright. 
So, so many cards in their hand. It's unreal. Look at that grave. Look at that graveyard. What a what a 2020 Magic graveyard. If I ever seen one, actually, it was just. I, I got to screenshot this. Hold on a second. Uh, this is Magic in 2020. Perfect, perfect illustration. Um, Conquer's death again. Yeah. Targeting a frenzy. Uh, yeah, sure. So we're gonna start working on the frenzies. It's pretty interesting. Uh, sure. I mean, all of our Teferis, they just have another Conqueror's Death in their hand. That'd be insane. Uh, one, two, three to four to. I want to move the blast zone to at least two, I guess. All right, here we go. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Uh, heart of kills. Try to be a Elysian group. Hopping around. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Soul Seer with no targets. Awkward. Uh, okay. This gets plus X plus X. Invert lands you control. Alright. I mean, just getting in. We have Soul Seer, av Seer available on their turn, which is kind of cool, I guess. Does cost a hundred million, but Shadow of Sky. I don't think it's not Soul Seer or anything. Chandra's on top. Ugh, I want to get Chandra. So they're gonna exile all four to fairies to cast Euro. We need a highlight clip of this. Nope, tapping the blast zone first. For Teferi, Master of Time. Okay. If I don't have a plan, I'll just make one up. Draw a card and then discard a card. Sure. I think, I think almost everything about Core Set 2021 is like pretty tame for the most part. You know, um, all Planeswalkers are pretty tame, which I think is good, honestly, because again, we've seen too much in the last two years. All right, so that's all fine. So they're gonna get back a Teferi and nothing from the graveyard. So I guess I could just move Blast Zone to three. Um, and then kill the Teferi and the Euro like before they can use them. Which is pretty good. Hello. Or or hear me out. Eugene is here. Oh, can they phase their own? Oh, they can't phase their own stuff out. Sure. So... I think we're gonna... I guess stopping them cost a million. We could, like... No. I don't think there's a way to... cast this Bone Crusher Giant, but also mine... This is gonna cost six... Like, put it on the stack. We can't, we, can't, we can't do that anyway, obviously. So, Alright, we're just going to minus five, kill everything. 
Probably play uh, a land. I play. Sh I can't play Chandra. Oh yeah. Gone worse. Rod is back. Um, we're gonna have Soul Spear and Azusa hanging out. Pretty big swing there. Now what, opponent? You've asked Elspeth Conquer's death about 11 times this game. So have Chandra too. Chandra Ugin. Elder Gargroth. Gargroth. Gar 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 Sure. That's fine. I think his card is uh not too great. Not too great. I was gonna give it haste somehow. Alright, top card is a land. Top card is solemn. Pretty happy with just Soul Seer Bone Crusher, I think. Actually, I actually could just like plus two again. Yeah, that's even better actually. Just Soul Seer this. I don't think I might be able to kill him with Rada, honestly. Like, they don't. Unless they have like Aether Gust or something, they don't have much instant speed stuff. We have a million mana. We can be still, still cast Chandra too. I'm gonna go for the kill, honestly. Last one's on one. There better be a cool animation here. This is a 23-23. Nothing. No animation. Oh, that's the game. All right. What a comeback. All you folks who stuck it through those first few tough games. What a what a what a way to finish. That was awesome. Woo, boy. That was great. So, yeah, um, definitely um, there are certainly a number of cards in the format that are pretty good against us. Um, Casuals of War being one of them, obviously. And then that new combo is pretty annoying, too. But beating the Banta, the Bant midrange deck, one of the best decks in the format, is pretty nice. Pretty nice. So definitely a pretty awesome deck. Uh, Duncan Dinos, the remix. Remix. Check it out. So, Again, folks, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. All my YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the deck in the comments. Let me know if this is uh, this is viable or you're just messing around here. And uh, again, tonight, early access stream. All right, check it out. I'm going to do one more video before the early access stream. Uh, I'm going to do a draft video too. So uh, a little more YouTube-specific content for my fine YouTube folks. Again, YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. Every video, tons of more content. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, YouTube. And I'll see you in a little bit.